Hi everyone! Today I want to talk about the inspector tool, which is a very useful tool for web developers because it allows you to check and edit HTML and CSS code on the browser, so on the page displayed in the browser. And it's very useful for debugging or for testing, and you should be using that a lot. There are four ways that you can go uh, about opening the inspector tool. You can right click on your mouse and go here on inspect and it will open the panel for you. You can also come here on the top bar in the browser on view, developer and developer tools. You can also click on these three dots on the right top corner of your window on the browser and go more tools, developer tools, yes. Or if you're on a Mac, you can click command option C, or if you're on a Windows, you click uh, control shift C and it will open for you. You'll see there are several tabs. They all allow you to see the page's performance and check the code. We're just going to focus on the elements tab for now. Down here is the source HTML of the current page. So you'll notice if you hover on the code, it will show you the corresponding element on the page. Like just hover and, and you'll see that. So the blue indicates the element, the green indicates the padding and the orange indicates margins. You can also locate an element on the page and click on it and it will give you the code. And if it's not uh, hovering, you just come here on this button and you click on whatever you want. Besides viewing, you can use inspect to alter the code. So if you want to swap some text, for instance, I want to change this H2. I want to call it my portfolio. When you hit enter, it will change on the page for you. You can also delete elements. For instance, I want to delete this element and it will delete it for you. You can also hide elements. You can also add new elements. So for example, here I want to add a paragraph. Just right click, edit HTML and add a paragraph. So uh, my website and you will write it for you here and all of that you'll notice that if you refresh it will go back to how it was before because it's just changing on the inspector tool is not modifying your actual code so it's really really useful moving down on the chrome inspector panel we're gonna check the styles tab so here we can see all the CSS applied to the element and you can click on, on the lines of code. For instance, let's see here. I don't want the flex direction to be a column. So it goes and it un undo and it undoes. It, it, it undo. Or I can also add 5 RAM, you know, you can just do that on the browser. You can also change the padding, margin, the elements width and height and just experiment. Finally, let's cover one more feature that a lot of people don't know about, which is the mobile view. You click on this icon here and it will show you, let's it will show you how it looks on a mobile or an iPad and it's great when you need to create uh, responsive designs. I just love the inspector tool. I'm always using it and it saves me a lot of time. I hope you enjoy it and let me know if you have any other questions. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Bye!